Let's do a quick review of the automatic braking system on engine start on this 2004 R1150RT. If you do not do the correct procedure on engine start, your automatic braking system will not be working correctly when you pull away. And that the automatic braking system on the BMW has performed two tests on engine start. One is a self test and then second is a pull away test. When you first turn the ignition on, you want to stay off the brakes. You do not want to start the, um, the motorcycle with the brakes on. And of course the machine won't start unless you're in neutral. When you first turn the key on, that's going to flash fast and then slowly and then that light's going to go out. The self-test is complete. You can now get on the brakes if you need to, if you're on a gradient, and start the machine. If you're on a gradient, you're not going to want to start the bike with the brakes compressed. That'll completely mess up the self-test of the ABS system. Instead, leave the bike in gear, turn the ignition switch on, use the compression of the engine to keep the bike from rolling, allow the test to be completed. Now you can start the machine and hang on to the brakes while you're starting it. But the test ha wants, the test needs to be concluded before you get on the brakes. Remember the test is completed when that's blinking at one cycle per second and the second warning light is out. This flashing brake failure warning light will go out as soon as you pull away and the um, pull away test is complete. If that light continues to flash, you have only what's called residual braking. Yeah, you can get the bike stopped, but it's as if your power steering went out in your car. It takes a lot of brake pressure to um, stop the bike. If that light comes on while you're flying around uh, the twisties, <laughs> you better pay attention to it and slow right down and get the machine stopped and see what it can take to get that light out. Sure, you can limp home uh, on residual braking, but your braking distance and capability is greatly reduced. Remember too, there's a kill switch associated with the kickstand. If the bike is running and in gear, and you lower the kickstand, the engine will quit. If the bike is in gear and you attempt to start it with the kickstand down, the bike will not start. Remember all the procedures we talked about today are covered in much greater detail in your rider's manual and maintenance manual. Are these the paid guns? Do they pay these guys to do this? Are they on the payroll?